Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. I've done a couple of videos on how to play this game and I really want to play it on video now. So we are going to. We're starting in 1444 and I we're playing Iron Man mode. Everything is set to normal. And I think we are going to go for Sweden because Sweden is quite interesting. They start under a personal union under Denmark, so we won't actually be able to do much at the very start. Our plan is to gain some independence from some northern German uh, states, break our independence with Denmark, conquer some of Norway, go into Novgorod before Muscovy gets there so we can stop Russia forming, and become an almighty badass. So let's kick right off here. We're going to save this locally. Uh, actually, we'll save it on the cloud. Sweden. And let's start. I am going to turn the audio down slightly after this because it's quite loud. Initializing. This is taking maybe a little bit too long. Oh, there we go. Straight into political map mode. W. And let's turn that volume down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. First thing, let's look at our initial sort of uh, situation. We're currently making 7 gold a month. We've got 16,000 manpower of a total of 19,000. That's not great. Zero stability, minus 3 prestige, 100 legitimacy. First things first, we can have a free military leader. We are going to make that a general, and we're going to hope he's good. Stick that on our Stockholm army. We're also going to... This supplies 23. I'll be playing this game mostly on full speed and playing like a turn-based game because it's how I like to play. We're going to merge these two armies. So we have a 10 stack with a general. Uh, we've got a couple of alliances happening with Austria. Mission-wise, is there anything that will help us? We don't want to improve relations with Denmark. We'll be breaking off. Gaining prestige will be good, but we won't be able to do it for a while. Religious unity, we can do. All that give us some... Yeah, okay. So, first of all, we'll send... We start with a shaman uh, group up here. So, we're going to send that. It's going to take 66 months. We might be able to speed it up as we go. And our main goal right now is getting support and building up an army and a navy. Why a navy? Because the best way to declare independence as Sweden is to not fight Denmark. And the way you do that is you get a couple of ships. You park them right here because Denmark likes to keep its armies here in uh, the capital. And then they can't cross. And then you only have to deal with Norway, which is weaker than you. So you take care of Norway. Denmark may eventually come across, but by then you've got all of Norway and they haven't got your capital. And your war score will be big enough to win. In terms of ramparts, I don't think we should be building any right now. We're going to wait for a while, tech up, get some navies going, and that will be that. I'm also going to decrease the autonomy in everywhere. Because we need the tax. Right, okay. Papacy wise... PayPal states and nothing else really is happening. We are going to go increase our relationships here. Let me just quickly expand all these windows. Uh, we're going to go improve relations here. We're also going to see if Pomerania. Pomerania will also almost give us independence, so we're going to improve relations there. And that should be it. Let me just take a look at our trade situation. We're pushing it from Novgorod into the Baltic, where we're actually collecting from. We're collecting... We're not collecting from anywhere. We're pushing from Poland and from here. That's 19%. What do we own here? Nothing. We do need to start collecting from here. And we're going to trade out the Krakow one, because... Uh, we're pushing more from Novgorod. So we'll wait for that to tick over. We should be getting some more money now. 5.13 
See what it takes over to next month. 5.12. Nah. Growth of cities attracts serfs. So you can lose one base tax in the countryside, we'll gain one base tax in Stockholm. Or we can increase serfdom to lower our stability and lower morale. We're going to go to accept this. And then we're going to see if we can lower that uh, autonomy. Right, so we've already lowered it, so we can't. Okay. But this is fine. Now on the region of councillors, we don't actually really need any. They are good for tech, but we only really need... Land force limits may be good. We don't actually want one anymore. We want to save up some money. Okay, and these will be offers for independence. Novgorod will offer to help. So will Pomerania. We can stop uh, relations now. Now we just... We can get one from Scotland. That will increase that. So we've got Scotland, Pomerania, and Novgorod. It looks like we can also get the Teutons. There we go. So we've already got a slightly large army to battle Denmark. Who are Denmark allied with right now? Lithuania, that's it. We should be fine. If I could get maybe Hungary on side. Uh, let me just go to my diplomatic map mode. I suppose it would be opinions. The ones in green like me slightly more. These are all the ones I've asked for already. Uh... No. Hmm. England definitely won't. Let's just have a quick scan for everywhere. So it looks like this is going to be what we've got to work with right now. Which is not great. But. Oh, we've got the hands. They, they are actually quite powerful. So we'll definitely take those. We've got too many different like, relations. I want to actually push all of that into military. Okay, we're already doing that. And that should be okay. We've got some unrest, but that's fine. Now what we're going to do is scrap our trade ships. And we're going to build galleys. Galleys we're building instead of uh, Carracks because galleys fight better in inland seas and the Baltic is inland. So we're just going to queue up a couple of these. We can have a max of 17 so that's going to go to our max. The Denmark fleet looks like it's 16 big. 8 transports and 8 galleys. So we should be able to attack that especially with the help of the other regions. I'd like to get Riga on the side. Nope. Okay. But let's see what we can do here. We're going to have these ships built. We're also going to see what our military cap is. We're going to build two cavalry and one normal. Attach them to our ten fleet. And that will increase our military might by just a little. Denmark, we want to get to tech, military tech 5 as quickly as possible. So I'm actually going to hire a military leader. We're not going to use them. I just want the extra one uh, military tech per month. And we're going to hope that that will help push us over the edge. Papacy wise, eh, not great. Send these into Ostergirtland. I guess that's Ostergirtland. Uh, that should be okay. We don't have extra, so that's fine. We're gonna send our galleys in now. Wait for those to hit. So we've got 15 galleys. I would like a lead. Um, can we hire a. No. Hiring an extra leader will lower our military uh, tech per month because I go over my limit. So we're not gonna hire a naval leader. We don't actually have much to do right now except wait. 
which isn't great. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be waiting, checking for independence every now and then. Bohemia would be good to have. How far are they off? Absolutely not. We also want to make sure that they don't uh, stop supporting us. So we may have to check our relations every now and then. But we've definitely got Novgorod, which is fine. I feel like we're going to have to fight soon, though, or Novgorod will lose some, to, some territory to Muscovy. And when that happens, we're a big threat from Muscovy. We either want to keep Novgorod alive or take it at some point. But for now, we're okay. 190 military tech. Okay, build stuff. Nope. Want to save that money. Making 2.7 a month. Okay. It's going to be quite slow, uh, quite slow for a while, sadly. I think I'm actually going to put... Oh! Denmark has declared war against the Livonian Order. They cite conquest as their castle's belly. The Teutonic Order have ordered it, and so have Riga. So if we go to what Denmark... Right. Denmark is... A, I'm also... Mm, Sadly, I'm also at war with them, and that means the Teutons won't be supporting me anymore. But now would be a fantastic time to declare war, which I think I'm going to do. I will have to wait a while because uh, the Teutons will absolutely destroy my fleet. But we should be in a pretty good position right now. Gain a general with 100 tradition, yes. We're going to fire the other one. Oh, this is this has worked out very much in our favour. A two-star general against a Denmark that is at war. We just want to wait for their ships. It looks like they've. Mm, we're gonna go over our limit here on ships. Only slightly. My ports are blockaded. Okay. Don't mind. Uh, it's going to be difficult though is the problem now because I've got to get my ships through these uh, areas. Ah, no. I lost that one. But while that one is lost, we can get this one up there. I'll give us them. Okay. Oh, they've got so many ships there. I just want their ships to get destroyed before I actually declare war. <sighs> Scotland, Pomerania, Novgorod and the Hansa will join. Mm, yeah, okay. We're going to do that. I'm just going to send my troops down into the uh, area first. And that will be war. A new king of 516 is good. We're also going to boost up our stability now. 2 plus 1. Uh, we've got some galleys being built. The first thing we're going to do is take the king. Well, we might as well go take the Norwegian capital straight away. Let's have a look what's here. Oh, we have probably lost this battle. They've got heavies. Novgorod wants me to fight. Uh, who are they fighting? I can't. I'm going to have to lose that prestige. Are they still in the war, though? Yeah, they are. I can't help them fight right right now. It's just not going to happen. And it looks like we're also losing the naval battle. I'm going to pull my ships out. 
and hope that doesn't make that much of a difference. We're also fighting here. We've got a disadvantage, but we have an amazing general. What's this siege, actually? A two siege, we should take the capital fairly quickly. I was going to send my galleys up here. I think we have a pretty good chance at winning this war. We may... Taking a bit of Norway is a... Not for sure, though. But anyway, I'm going to put a cut in here. So uh, thank you for watching the first episode of uh, Let's Play European Universalis Sweden. In the next episode, we are hopefully going to win the Independence War, become independent, kick Denmark and Norway's arse, and hopefully take this big chunk of Norway. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.